Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the clone effect. And I'll, let me just play through this clip for you. So there, you get the gist of the effect. It's basically having this girl walk on and I duplicated her over here and have her look and they have a little interaction between each other. And it's a neat effect, but a couple things you need to know. First of all, it, the editing part is really simple. It just comes down to two things in production, and, and they're absolutely, you can't mess them up in production or else this effect will be nearly impossible to do. I think it would be impossible to, you can't just say fix this one in post. This is not that kind of effect here. What you have to do, the first one, is make sure your camera does not move. I think that is the most important. If your camera moves just a hair when you're pressing the record button and it just moves the camera a little bit, that's it's garbage. It's not going to work. Um, the second thing is lighting. Even if you don't move the camera, then you do that fine, but the lighting changes or you wait too long to do the other half of the shot, then it's it's really not going to work. So so no amount, of, no amount of color correcting or anything will fix that. So make sure you get it right in production. That's the first tip. Now, this this is nice. She walks in, and they have a little interaction between each other. Um, another thing is to make sure that their eye line, this didn't match up perfectly. They weren't looking at each other's eyes. So that'll sell the effect a little bit more. I guess right there, you see a little nice eye up to her eye. So make sure you get, get that right as well. So let's start here. The editing is not that hard. I'm going to start over. I've got my first... Uh, oops, wrong one. I've got my first area I've selected. I, I kind of want that part, and I'll drag that in. And I'm going to hold down the Option key and select what I don't want that audio. And I want this side now where she walks in. So maybe we'll set an in point by pressing I right there, and an out point right when she does the thumbs up. And you can press O to set those in and out points. Um, I'm going to drag that in on top. And I'll just crop this down wherever. Option select. Um, so if I turn down the opacity in the top layer, you can see what's going on here. They have a little interaction. The reason you do the opacity is to see, see those don't match up. She just walked on and she's already waving at her. So you just can adjust what your scene is supposed to be. She walks on. So this girl is actually talking way too soon. What I think it's a top layer, yeah. Top layer needs to so you just play around. There you go. That'll work fine for this this example. Not gonna get too picky. Okay, so your character walks on. This is fine. I'm gonna move the opacity back up because we're done figuring out how the scene goes. So I'm gonna start with the top layer, go to the motion tab, to the crop, open that guy up. And so since you're on the top layer, this is the top layer here. She's on the left side. So that means we want to take away the right. So come to the right slider and start taking away until, oh, there she is. Okay. Sweet. So, and I'm just going to come right around to this center of the frame. Make sure they don't go over the centers. And then that's fine. And that is... The clone effect right there. Um, the lighting looks really similar. Their shadows. You got to make sure also in production that their shadows don't cross or the body parts, their hands in this case, won't cross that center line or else you'll see it get cropped off. So that's the general of that tutorial. The, the clone effect is right there for you guys. So check out FinalCutKing.com for more tutorials. And I'll see you guys later.